Hello there, Internet. My name's White Dragons, and welcome back to the Ferret Business. Now, the first episode was pretty long, so the next episode's gonna be pretty darn short. So let's start off with what we've been doing. I moved out of the tower, uh, just because the place was just really super laggy. Um, as you notice, I've also changed the landscape around, and I've dug down a little bit. Uh, I don't have my, uh, I'll explain this in a minute. I don't have my shovel on me, but it is legendary, okay, uh, legendary, along with my, um, pick here, which is godlike. Uh, I think my sh shovel's godlike, too. The axe is still not there yet, because I don't have a big enough tree farm, but we're working on that. Let me explain this. Uh, as your tools level up, sometimes you can get an incorrect data. Now, if you get an incorrect data, it tells you to go to the crafting bench or the crafting window to update it. I have not updated it. Now, why do you ask why I haven't updated? Because if I did update, the mining level redstone would change to iron because it's made out of wood. So, of course, it's going to do that. But if you leave it alone and you carry around some wood with you, you have a redstone pickaxe that you can level up pretty easy. Sweet, right? Anyways, so I, I also made myself a nice little base of operations. I just took the turret that I uh, I took out from around here. Uh, hold on, let me... There we go. It's a little bit better. Uh, took the dirt that was from around here and then just made myself a little base area. It's pretty nifty. Uh, I also put in a trap door and a regular door because 4-ounce uh, scoop said that when he played it, uh, played his... Uh, the ferret business um, he ran into where head crumbs mobs we were just opening the door and coming in so I don't want that I, I really don't and there's a lot of them uh, that are in this mod pack uh, so yes there I, I made I made that because uh, as a zombie zombies can't break trap doors but they can break regular doors so they can break this all day but they can't get past this so that's important uh, we used, I went and made a chisel and made, uh, all this wonderful blocks you see out of cobblestone and the windows, which is pretty cool. Chisel too. It's really awesome. Uh, but this is going to be my tower for, uh, danger. And I also made some garage doors, which are super simple. I mean, these things are so easy to make. Look at this garage. Oh, I can't spell. Uh. I don't. I can't spell. G A R G G. Okay, that's what I had, right? G A R. Oh, G A R. G A R. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, I can make a carpenter's garage door. Oh, that would have been so cool. But this is how you make the regular one. Isn't that easy? Just planks and a piece of glass. And this thing is redstone powered, so you just hit the button, comes up. Look at that, comes right back down. And nothing can come through it. That's so cool. And you get to see on the outside. Uh, but I also installed one here. I also made the smell tree, uh, which is pretty nifty. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out how I wanted it. But I made it so that I could see inside the, um, the smell tree. So that's pretty cool. So I don't have to always click here to see what I got. Uh, Speaking of which, what is my armor? My armor is almost dead. I've been kind of using this as like an extra storage area for like armors. If you didn't know, you can actually smelt down stuff. That's um, from vanilla Minecraft in here. Like this uh, chain mill. Or, yeah, this chain chest piece and all the chain stuff. It can be smelted, but it has to be full health. Or it has to be fully repaired. Uh, I also went ahead and made some tanks. Super easy to make. Uh, got most of the lava from my quarry over there. And there's my chisel and my bucket. Uh, and then, you know, of course, all this beautiful stuff. Now, it doesn't... A long time ago, it did matter that these two were together. But the uh, controller and the seared tank don't have to be together. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, that's for later on. It does make a noise, but I have that turned off because it's kind of annoying. Uh, also, uh, this is my quarry. Uh, I've been doing it with my pickaxe, and I kind of got bored with it, as you can see, pretty far down. Uh, I'm just using cobblestone ladders right there from Tinker's Constructs, just cobblestone sticks, just built like a ladder. 
I also went ahead and uh, dug out areas for the next mine shaft area, and uh, we'll be able to do something with this later on, hopefully. Um, hopefully. It's the question of hopefully. Uh, if you notice, I've got a whole bunch of uh, columns in the air, different colors. That's because I died a couple of times. Because I've been working on the rogue dungeon. And that's one thing we're going to work on to date is the rogue dungeon. But I just want to give you a quick update on what we're doing. Um, actually, we'll probably next episode do rogue dungeon. Because uh, prob I'm probably going to show you uh, when I was working in the rogue dungeon for the first couple of levels. So witchery, we've got witchery in here, we've got Pam's Harvest, uh, we've got Essence, which I don't, it says it's fully grown. I don't know if I'm supposed to use something here, so I'm just going to punch it. And we get Weak Essence and we get Essence Dust. Now one of these we can turn into seeds. None, okay, hmm, interesting. Uh, I couldn't get this one to grow because it was right beside it, so I don't know what's up with that. Okay, that may be the essence that changes. No. Oh my god, how do I get more essence? I mean, I found these by accident. Huh, weird. But we also have magical crops growing. I had to put this here because I kept stomping on the on it. Uh, we also have cotton growing here, which will soon be up. Nope, not ready. Ready. Oop, ready. Uh, I also have a watering can. That also helps me grow it. And then up top we've got the agri-craft stuff. So, this is pretty interesting. I have to punch it. I can't right-click it, unfortunately. So, that is... See, like it did that. Damn it. Didn't do that before. So that means I'm going to have to make one straight line. Sorry, Mr. Bush. Yeah. Sorry about that. We'll fix that later. And there is my watering can. So, the doors do run, do close slower, and I think that's because of another mod. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, for now, I'm going to just put the essence in here. And we'll put the cotton in here. This is my ores area, along with all this other stuff I've gotten myself into. So... Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, the next portion is going to be f me going into the first level, doing some exploration and some fighting and some dying. Uh, we're down to level three now, and oh my god, there's a bunch of stuff down there that's wanting to kill you. But, uh, so, there's the shovel, by the way. The shovel and then my, my, uh, field axe, and then I made a top, it's like a hoe basically. I made another bucket because I just got really tired of running back and forth. So it's just like, make another bucket. Eh, just three pieces of iron. We'll live. Oh, and you can make these berries into blueberry juice, which is pretty cool. Because it does help me out a lot. So, uh, hopefully next episode we'll have some more things going on. But until then, guys, thanks so much for watching. Likes, comments, greatly appreciated. As always, it's fun, not a profit. You get this lovely entertainment for free. <gasps> have a good day.